Is Aria trying to do the Wednesday dance? She looks just like a robot! <laughs> Watch this. Excuse me, you're in my way. Whoa! And into the trash can she goes. I'm so embarrassed. Ew, this is so smelly. I look like a mess right now. Ugh, what's this sticky thing? Oops, I didn't mean that. Let me clean it up. Boo. Who is that? I came to give you something. A coffin? I hope there's no skeleton inside. This must belong to Wednesday herself. Huh? Where did she go? I guess I better check out this box then. Let's see. What's inside? Whoa! There's so much cool stuff! Yay! Oh! I'm gonna start off with my hair! My hair is so stubborn! I give up! Ah! I feel so hopeless! Huh? That tickles! Look who is here to help! Thing is very strong, even if he's just a hand. See? He can move the hairbrush all on his own. And now for that small comb. Wow, you fixed my hair! This is so amazing! But something's still missing. Aha! Uh -huh, I have an idea! Look at these long pieces of crepe paper. Roll them up and cut them into strips. Then drop them in a bowl of water. It's mixing time! It's gonna turn into a hair dye. Now Arya can dip her hair in. I feel like I'm at a salon. I think that's enough. Wow! I'm starting to feel more like myself. Wait, I have a better idea. Braids! Now this is more like my style. Okay, let's see what's next in the beauty box. What's this weird thing? Is it a mustache shaper? Let me try it. I'm not sure if that's for a mustache. We're trying to be Wednesday Adams here, not Gomez. This is actually pretty cool. Hold on. Thing is here to tell you that it's for your eyebrows. Oops, I didn't know that. You mean like this? Oh, wow, I think it's working. Eyebrows on fleek. So cool. The only way to achieve the cat eye look is with the help of a cat's tail. Use it as a guide to draw a wing. Just like that. And now you've got the sharpest eyeliner ever. Thing approves. What's next? Eyeshadow? You're gonna make Thing sneeze! I'm starting to look like Wednesday! Wait, what about my clothes? Maybe I have something good in my closet? Let's see. Eh, too colorful. Too bright. Everything's vibrant! What is she going to do now? Uh, is the curtain moving? What? Thing has an idea. It's time to improvise. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna turn this curtain into a dress. From this time forth, I shall be called Wednesday. All these happy things are boring me. I'm not tickled. Look at this doll's fiery red hair. It's hurting my eyes. And what kind of shallow fashion is this? It's time to change things up. To start off, remove all the shiny accessories before they burn Wednesday's eyes. Then clean her face up with a black toothpaste. It's charcoal flavored, just like Wednesday's favorite. Oh! Give it a good massage. And now wipe it off with a sponge. So fresh! I hate that colorful makeup. We have to remove that too. Start with the eyebrows, and then the freckles. It's not just a makeup remover, it's a face remover! What have you done to the doll's face? Top it all off with a foam. And now even her eyes are gone! This will have to do for now. I have to fix her hair first. Straighten it up a bit, because I hate those fun curls. It should be straight like mine. It still needs more work. I know. The doll needs her hair dye, too. Pour some conditioner in a bowl and mix it up with black ink. There's no other color but black, of course. La la la, what a fun day! Oops, I 
tripped. You're heading straight into the pool of misery. There we go. I think that's enough of a soak for the day. Let's get you up. Perfect black hair. But I'd rather she looked a little bit paler. White paint is the key. Sponge it all over the doll's body until she's entirely covered in white. Braid her hair, too, and start drawing her face back on. Don't worry, Wednesday isn't cruel enough to leave her without a face. <laughs> but of course, her new face has to be made of dark colors only. Give those eyes a little detail. And add a little bit of shine to that. Just a bit will do. This doll just became an exact replica of Wednesday. Thing wants to say you did a good job. Wednesday's old room is a little too colorful for her liking. Better get rid of all that cute stuff and replace it with skeletons and skulls. They're more fun. Who needs these absurd colorful posters? I must replace them too. Ew, too much pink. Now that's better. What are you looking at? Aha, uh -huh, this is giving me an idea. All this white is giving me a headache. So I'm going to cover this stool with cardboard. But I'm not done yet. I will make it extra special by adding a backrest. No, it's not a bamboo tree. It's a unique style. Now I'm going to paint it black, of course. No brown should be left behind. Look at my beautiful throne. I am the queen of gloom. What is Thing doing? I think he's trying to send Wednesday a message. What on earth? This lamp is too soft and sweet. Thing has a suggestion. Oh, spiders. I know what you mean. This will help me achieve my dark aesthetic. Phew, this is not for people with arachnophobia. But for girls like Wednesday, insects can make good decorations. Sticking them all together makes a better lampshade. It's ready. This lampshade is going to cause so many jump scares. Oh, what a beautiful rose. I hate it. I only want the black stem. There. I'm gonna put it up on the wall. Here's another rose. Well, I don't think Wednesday's going to change her mind. Now is not the time to be romanced. She only cares about the stems. Who could blame her? Look what a nice wall decoration they make. Huh? What is this rope for? It summons a bed net, apparently. Look at Wednesday's new room. Those bats will keep her company at night. And all these trinkets must be cursed. I'm sure she will sleep peacefully in a room like this. She is the queen of darkness, after all. Ah, I love brewed coffee. I better get ready for school. I'm going to bring my doll with me. Thing has something to say. What? You want to come with me? I think he finds your bag ridiculous. He doesn't want to go inside. Whatever. Well, you're right. It's garbage. Oh, look at these felt sheets. It's crafting time. After cutting the sheets into these shapes, glue them together. And add a zipper on top. Cover up the back. Now her bag looks like a gravestone. Thing is more happy to go inside. Don't forget your mini doll. It's time to go to school. Brace yourselves, darkness is coming! <laughs> These girls won't be laughing any longer. Wednesday is coming! Huh? Is that Wednesday? Hey girls, I have a surprise for you. What's, What's inside? inside? Why don't you see for yourself? It's a flood of spiders! Ah! No! no! It's crawling up! I can't take this! I like revenge served with a warm side of pain. Poor Barbie! She's been through a lot! Huh? I think Barbie's gonna be sick. Yikes! She's puking glitter! Did you eat an art project or something? And she fainted! Wake up! Don't die on me, Barbie! Don't die on me! 
Did you just cut off her head? Oops! It's time for an operation! Oh dear, I hope Barbie gets her head back. Is there still hope? Is that some wire and a button? Maybe there is hope after all. The wire is gonna replace Barbie's nest, and it's secured with a button. Make sure it's secure before putting her head back on. We don't need another decapitation. It's working! Huh? Really? I take that back. She's going unstable again. I'll save you, Barbie! A scalpel? Something's inside Barbie that's making her sick. Looks like she swallowed a diamond. There's something else! What? There's a cricket, too! I see Barbie is an adventurous eater. Ew! Well, it's time to stitch her back up. It's as easy as tying a shoe. Minus the needle. Let's see if it worked. Barbie is alive! Yes! I did it! She's a little confused. I guess getting your head detached does that to you. You're okay! Oh, I'm so glad! I love you, Barbie! I love you, Barbie! Huh? When was the last time Barbie washed her hair? Look at all those leaves! I have a solution for that! A razor? Come here! Barbie doesn't want a bald head! But I heard it's a new style nowadays! I wonder if this will go well. Penelope is on her way to becoming a barber! But her first customer is not satisfied! Well, I think I did great! My hair! Crayons? They're way better than hair dye! Penelope can be as creative and as colorful as she wants! Perfect! Chef's kiss worthy! That's not a race car helmet, is it? Oh, a needle! This is gonna hurt! Barbie is getting her hair sewn with thread! This looks pretty dangerous! Beauty is pain, after all! That looks nice! I guess the pain was worth it! It's art time! But I don't think Barbie got the memo! Silly, that's not makeup! Naughty Barbie! Come on, let's go clean you up! Who knew Barbie could be so stubborn? That's a really big brush for Barbie! It's not for her teeth, after all! It's to clean up her face! Imagine getting toothpaste all over your face! Maybe it helps exfoliate the skin! All done! Look at you! Barbie's face is all clean and smooth! But what about the rest of her body? I think you need a big shower! Oops! I'll put you in the bathtub! To Barbie, that bathtub is a giant ocean! I wouldn't want to get thrown in that either! Oh, I understand! What can I do? Oh, I could use that detergent bottle! Cut the bottom half of the detergent bottle! I see where this is going! It looks like a bathtub! And look! Barbie fits right in! It feels like floating in the clouds! It's already summer! Although Barbie's late on the news, no wonder she feels so hot! I think she needs to take that sweater off! Or put her in a bowl of icy water! That works, too! She must have cooled down by now! What is Penelope up to? Wow, what a fancy closet! But no summer outfits? That's a bummer! What do I do now? How is a balloon going to help? Let's get crafting! Penelope is getting creative with this. She's using the balloon to make a bikini bottom. And now a bright yellow one for the top. Definitely a summer theme. This latex outfit is the new trend. Will you look at that model? It really does feel like summer in here. Oh, Barbie wants sunglasses too. But I only have this pair. Let's see… A hanger? Yeah! Use glittery cardboard to cut out the shape of the lenses. And use the tiny hanger for the frame. Voila! It's hard to see through that cardboard. But at least her eyes are really protected from the sun. 
Cheers to our new fashion gurus! They're at the mall! Wait, is that who I think it is? It's a Ken doll! I see Barbie's got a crush! Just look at that handsome face! Oh, they're making friends! But these two are such snobs! How rude! Now they've got Barbie feeling insecure! To think that she's the prettiest girl in the world? Poor Barbie! I need to fix this! Huh? Makeup is 50% off! That's the cheapest deal I've ever heard of! It's time for a makeover! Her makeup is too big to use on Barbie! I wonder if this will work! See, that lipstick is bigger than her face! What a lot of blush you have on there! <laughs> You're gonna need a smaller lipstick! I think a pencil should work! Just slice the tip off, since that's all you need! So tiny! You can put it on a pen core for the handle, and color it too! Now that's better! Barbie loves her new look! What's wrong? Oh my! Has she been digging in soil? This is unacceptable! You need a new nail polish! Maybe let's make it smaller first! Slice a toothpick in half and coat it in nail polish. Make sure to coat the tip properly. Now it's easier to paint Barbie's nails. They look amazing! Ken will surely fall in love with you now! Let's go! La la la! You've got this, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Look at me! I am so pretty! Whoa! I just saw the most beautiful girl in the world! I smell love brewing over here! A kiss already? Well, I can't blame them. It was love at second sight. What are they watching? Oh, how sweet! The girl is pregnant! Now Barbie wants to be pregnant too! I don't think she's ready to be a mom. But Penelope must obey. A troll? And Play-Doh? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's give this Barbie a baby! Use plastic wrap to trap the baby troll inside. And use the Play-Doh to mold the stomach. It kinda reminds me of baking cookies. Congratulations, Mommy Barbie! When can we find out the gender? Oops! I'd say right now! Mommy Barbie's water broke! What? You're about to give birth! This is a job for Dr. Penelope! I bet you're starting to regret wanting to be pregnant! Stay still! It's almost out! I can see the head! This is one unique baby! My baby! Phew! That was tiring! What's that? Looks like an empty container! I have an idea! Put a small cloth over the container and stick it down with glue. Don't forget to wrap some glitter cardboard around it. Now use some popsicle sticks and tea light candles for the wheels. Finish it with some paint. And ta-da! A baby stroller! Perfect! What else is a stroller for but to gush over the baby? Am I right? Wow, so many rings! But not enough fingers! Barbie looks like a kicked puppy over there! She's jealous of Penelope's jewelry! Huh. What about her? Uh, let's see… What about this bracelet? She wanted a ring, not a hula hoop! I don't know what to give her! Wait a second… I have an idea! Take the plastic ring off a bottle. Cut a piece to make a cuff. And add some sparkly gems. What a fancy headband! Barbie feels like a princess! But what about a necklace like Penelope's? Getting greedy, are we? Don't worry, Penelope's got a hack for that too! Beads? I know! Draw a diamond on some glitter cardboard and cut it out. Add some fancy gems. 
And voila! A diamond necklace! You guys look so expensive! Now I want jewelry too! Ooh! Someone's got a date tonight! Oh my gosh, it's Ken! But I don't have an outfit! No problem! Your best stylist is just right beside you! Let's see what we have here! Welcome to Barbie's awesome closet! All those fancy clothes and nothing worthy enough for a date? Oh! What am I gonna do? I can't go on a date wearing this! Maybe there's another way! Forget about those fancy clothes! A torn sock will do the trick! How is that gonna work? Ew! Trust me, okay? Penelope is gonna make a dress out of this sock. Just cut off the top part, and it's done! I think it needs a little work. But at least it looks good on human Barbie. Are you ready for your date? Uh-oh, Cinderella! You lost your shoes! There's no Prince Charming this time! It's up to Penelope to find new shoes! Let's see! Aha! I need to find the pair! Ken is almost here! We gotta hurry! Oh no! A glue gun? Yes, it's hat time! Penelope can make a pair in no time! Just use a glue gun and copy the shape of the heels! It's gonna be a little sticky, but at least it won't ever come off! Cinderella's fairy godmother should be taking notes! Barbie is ready for her date! You look amazing! Here comes Ken! Look at that beauty! Ken can't take his eyes off Barbie! Next thing you know, they're gonna get married! But, well, it depends on their owners. Huh? Huh? I have a text! Her friends are coming over! Sounds like a party! Although the house looks like it's already had a party with all that mess! Time to do some cleaning! Fix the shelves first! And that flower pot! Oh my gosh! Why are there shoes and clothes everywhere? Someone forgot to do the laundry! Barbie's upset! She doesn't have a nice couch for her friend! Where will they hang out? Maybe I'll just throw it away? But wait! Maybe there's something else I can use here! Oh look! A coffee table! Barbie doesn't like it though! Better find another one! A sponge? Don't throw it away just yet! It could be useful! Cover that sponge with a fluffy pink cloth. Make sure to secure it with hot glue. Fold the bottom and turn it over. Then paste it on a piece of styrofoam. Add armrests on the sides. And ta-da! You've got yourself a comfy couch! I love it! This calls for a snack! Don't make Barbie jealous with that! Her table is empty! I know! It's time for another craft! Apply glue to a toothpick in a circular motion. That way you can make donut shapes. Add some paint to make them look more real. And some toppings, of course! Yummy strawberry butternut! And so many other flavors, too! I'm jealous! Come in! Welcome to my house! It's so beautiful! Barbie's got a visitor, too! It's her new bestie! It's gonna be a long night of gossiping! Cheers! Mmm! So crispy! Can I have some? Uh -uh. No way! Fine, then! We'll see! Mommy! He's bringing out the big guns! Mom, of course! Fine! Success! Yummy! My favorite! At least I've got donuts! Oh, I want them too! Go away! Maybe we should call mom again? No! Shh! Stop! Uh-oh, she's up to something! That definitely lost its flavor! Eh, I guess this will do! Oh my! That is disgusting! 
I can't take this! Ugh. That butt was definitely a weapon! Yay! Little brother wins! Hey, sis! It's my turn! Little brother versus older sister! Oh yeah? It's on! hi -ya! Take that! There's no better way to settle a fight than with lightsabers! Oh, hey, dad! Just passing through! Don't mind us! This is getting intense! Big sis is getting the upper hand! Come back here! Uh-oh! Here it comes! The tears! Mommy! I'm sorry! I didn't mean it! What happened here? She smacked me! Shedding tears is definitely another way to win a fight! See? The little bro won the remote! Poor Victoria! Now she's getting reprimanded! Nice trick, Connor! Wow, a birthday cake! Happy birthday, Victoria! It's time for you to make a wish! Okay, here we go! I wonder what she's wishing for! Oh no! Those are not your candles! Ugh! You ruined my wish! It's my birthday! It's okay, sweetie! We can just light them up again! That's right! Easy solution! Get away from my cake! Ow! Yay! So annoying! Is that a gift I see? I wonder what's inside! Eager to open, are we? Wow! An iPhone! I can't believe it! Let me see! No! Thank you, Mom and Dad! <laughs> Unfair! Huh? There's another gift? Wow! It's for Connor! What? It's not his birthday! Yeah! How would you guys explain that? It's an iPhone 13 Pro! I've got three cameras! Sorry, big sis! The youngest is always the favorite! Oh, someone's got a boyfriend! That was close! Here it comes! They're gonna kiss! Hey guys! Can I watch the movie with you? Talk about awkward! Get out of here! Can't you see we're on a date? <laughs> I'm sorry about him! Finally the kiss! Oh no! Watch out! <laughs> Stop it! Oh my gosh! I can't breathe! You are so annoying! Oh dear! Your makeup is all ruined! You look scary! Here comes another attack! Stop it already! Are you ready, sis? Ah! Score! You are getting on my nerves! Run, Connor, run! Looks like it's just you now! Oh, the joys of being an only child! Yep, it's the perfect time to enjoy the movie! I'd be careful with that ball! Oh no! Connor's gonna be in trouble! What am I gonna do? <laughs> You're dead! Please, help me clean it! No way, it's your mess! Please! Ugh, okay, fine! Oh, what a sweet older sister! What happened here? Uh-oh, it's mom! How are they gonna get out of this? Well, you see… Nice swift move, Connor! Mom won't notice a thing! Okay, then… Phew! That was close! Great teamwork, you guys! Um… Yep, enough with the ball games! Whatever! Oh, Victoria! I hope you're careful with that! Not again! That's gonna be so much harder to fix! Connor, help me out! Hurry! No, that's your mess! <gasps> oh no, it's mom! What was that noise I heard? <laughs> Nothing! We were just playing! Really? Yep, everything's all right! Actually, mom, she broke the vase! <gasps> Connor, you little snitch! How could you? <sighs> Being the older sibling sucks! Go, go, go! Yeah! Give me that! <laughs> what happened, sweetie? Victoria, let your little brother play! Oh, he's making me lose! The youngest sibling always gets it easy! It must be nice to see those two getting along! Yay, they won! How sweet! Oops! Unfortunately! 
Unfortunately, it's just Mom's imagination. Uh-oh. Victoria's up to something. Is that from the remote controller? Nice game, Connor. Are you winning? Hold on. Something's wrong. <laughs> it's not even plugged in. That's a lot of colored pencils. Although you might need a new case for them. Look how big the hole is. Can Mom fix it? She has an idea! I wonder what it is! I hope it's a pop-in pencil case! Here! I've got you a new one! No way! It's Victoria's old pencil case! Oh, why can't Connor ever get a new gift? Wow, he got a skateboard for his birthday! Thank you, Mom and Dad! But it's his older sister's skateboard! Come on, Mom and Dad! It's unfair! I think that shirt looks too small on Connor. He's grown a lot! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. That doesn't fit you anymore, honey! Oh, I know! Here comes your new shirt! Thanks, Mom! Huh? What? It's Victoria's shirt! I'm not a girl, Mom! It's fine. It's yours now. Poor Connor. Oh no. What are you planning with that baseball bat? Whoa, be careful. Huh? That's a lot of money. I'm afraid you're gonna get in trouble for that. Stealing never ends well. Who's at the door? Huh? You're Connor? Oh well. Payment? That's a lot of money! What on earth did Connor buy? Wow, it's a new shirt! That's a really smart way to spend! Try it on! It looks good on you! And it fits just right! Now this is much better! Victoria seems to be chilling, But she's got a lot of homework to do! Look at that unfinished pile! You lazy girl! Victoria! Finish your homework! Ugh, I was just talking to my friends! Fine. No more phone. It's better to get it done now. Yay! All done! Now Victoria can be on her phone as much as she wants. Dad, I need help. Go ask your sister. Oh, okay. I need help with English. No! I want to use my phone. Help your brother or else. Oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> no fair! Why does dad get to use his phone? Oh, I miss you, my precious phone! What a fun day of shopping! I forgot one thing! Look after your brother! What a mess! Huh? <laughs> you look ridiculous! You want this? Give it to me! Oh, Victoria, stop annoying your little brother! Oh, here come the tears! I hate you so much! Where are you going? <laughs> I hate my older sister! And I don't want this anymore! Oh, Connor, it's okay! Just play with your poppet! Hey, it's a friend! He wants to try your poppet! Connor is such a generous kid! He looks ugly! What a bully! <laughs> this is making Connor very sad! Huh? Hey! No one messes with my little brother but me! Take that, you minion! Now go away! Oh, Older sister saved the day! Let me wipe that for you, my poor little brother! What a sweet fix this! Is it finally the day mom's dreamed of? Are they making up? Never mind! Siblings are the best frenemies you could ever ask for! After all, 